Was this supposed to do that? I actually kind of like that. Hello, beautiful. Today, we're going to be trying out this liquid blading peel and reveal lip color from the brand Skin Gasm. Today, we're going to try out this really interesting contraption. I have seen it on both Instagram and TikTok, where basically it's this... Uh, like lip stain that's supposed to last all day long i think it's popular now just because we're wearing masks and we want it to be like transfer proof personally i just love a lip stain that literally lasts all day so the thing that makes this unique and special is that you like how to apply it and then you spray it to like activate it or something and then you end up peeling it off and then underneath that um you get this like nice color that's supposed to last all day so we're gonna go ahead and test this out and I'm definitely going to wear it all day to truly see um, if it will last all day so let's go ahead and try this out by the way I almost forgot to mention this was sent to me to try out so first here we have the liquid blading this is okay this is the lip color by the way this is a vegan formula gluten-free no alcohol no parabens towel free so let's go ahead and apply the first step. This is not what the color is supposed to look like, but it's actually kind of nice. I kind of like this color. Am I weird? I'm gonna apply some on the bottom. This formula definitely feels different. It's like... It's like very thin. It feels like I'm putting water on my lips. And... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna get this like fully saturated. Oh my god, I actually kind of like that! <laughs> I like this color. Okay, I'm gonna get it like my lips fully covered because I've seen videos where it looked a little patchy when they peeled it off. So I'm gonna like submerge my lips in this product. It honestly is a little patchy like right here. Like it doesn't glide on like a regular lipstick. It leaves little patchy spots. And I'm gonna get in here. Oh. Okay, I just removed some product. What the heck? Okay. Don't rub your lips together yet. I don't know why it's so splotchy. Is splotchy a word? I don't think so. Oops, why did I do that again? No. Am I spending too much time on this part? Okay. Wow, that looks really cool. <laughs> and then I guess we spray it and I believe we wait. So I'm gonna wait like five minutes and then I'm gonna peel it off. You know what, I think I need to do one more cause it's kinda patchy, patchy, not splotchy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope this doesn't matter that I kinda went on it a lot. Oh, you can kind of clean it up. I don't know why the bottom lip went on perfectly, but the top lip was a little patchy, so I feel like I had to do four layers. Next, it says mist this liquid blading activator onto the lips for a spontaneous reaction. Instantly, the mask is activated and hyper tattoos brilliant pigments into lip surface. In seconds, you can peel it and reveal your perfect pop of color. Oh, in seconds, okay. Oh, that actually tasted like coconut water and I hate coconut water. Is there coconut in this? This is very weird. Mm. Mm. Is this supposed to do that? What the heck? Why is it doing that? Oh my god, I feel like this is a Halloween costume. That actually looks pretty cool. Okay. 
That was a little weird. Oh gosh. Ooh, I feel like I just drank something. It genuinely tastes like coconut water. So some people might love that, but I hate the taste of coconut water. Ugh, but it's all in my mouth. Mm. Okay, not a really big fan of that. Wish the spray was a little kind of more concentrated and just focused on one area. Okay, so it's been seconds. Let's see <sighs> if we can peel it. Oh my god. <sighs> Did I have my mouth open? That's all in my mouth. I don't, I do not know. I don't like the taste of that. Okay, let's try to peel it off now. Oh. It's not really peeling off that easily. Oh, okay, there you go. You got a piece. Little piece. Maybe if I spread my lips out. Okay. I wonder if all this is necessary or can we just use a regular like lip stain? Yeah, it's not peeling off. I don't know if I did something wrong, but it's not like I was hoping it was just gonna peel off the entire layer, but it's only doing it by pieces. Okay, that was a pretty good, pretty good job. I really don't like how I'm having to pick off all these pieces. I wish it would just come off in one layer. And also, I wouldn't recommend doing this if you have later. like dry, chapped lips because you could very easily like accidentally pick at your your the the skin off of your lip and that would hurt a lot I, I really don't like the way this is peeling off the lip i wonder if you could just rub it off okay this this part's coming out a little bit better okay see is see how it's peeling okay i don't know for some reason the top lip is doing much better than the bottom lip what did i do Ooh, okay, I like that. It also feels nice when you're peeling it off. It almost feels like you're peeling off your, uh, your, what's it called? Your dry skin on your lip. Ooh, that color is very vibrant. I actually like it. Wow, ooh, that looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna see if I could just rub it off because this is gonna take me forever. Okay, the rubbing off got some of it off. Yeah, I think the color looks great. This is a cool concept. It's kind of it has that like gradient effect a little bit, especially on the bottom. But I just don't know if I could do this all the time. Should I like spray it again? Let's see. No. Okay, so if I rub it too hard with my finger, it does remove some of it off and I don't want it to look patchy that was like the most annoying thing makeup related thing I've ever had to do I think that took me like 10 minutes just to <laughs> remove all that stuff I think it looks great though I think the color looks great yeah definitely transfer proof it's not coming off on my hand. Um, we're gonna test it to see how if it like looks like this for the rest of the day. But um, I am not doing that again. If it just peeled off in one piece or even two pieces, it this this would be perfect, and I would do it all the time. But as you can see, it took me like ten minutes to take this stuff. It's some a little bit is still like on the inner portion of my lip. That was not fun. Um, I had to be very gentle because I almost was like going to pick at my dead skin on my lips. So yeah, that was very annoying. Did not enjoy that. Definitely I'm not going to use this again unless I find out like how to properly use this product. I have seen other videos where they literally just like peel it off in one to two layers. I Maybe it's like a different brand that they're using. I don't know, but anyways. We're gonna come back and um, see how this holds up. Okay, so it's been about five hours, and honestly, I feel like it looks the same. Um, in all these five hours, I 
I actually kept licking my lips um, just because occasionally it would feel a little bit dry and I ate uh, and yeah it's still here honestly it kind of looks the same so this is a pretty cool product I think the only thing that needs to be fixed is the whole peeling situation because I really just don't feel like spending 10 minutes pick peeling this stuff off so I'm gonna have to figure that out or if not just go with like a different brand that doesn't do that um, but nonetheless I do like it and I actually think that I would use it again despite how long it took to peel off just because it literally looks the same five hours later which is amazing and it also does not transfer which is also amazing that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you do enjoy this series type of video make sure to like this video um, and let me know down in the comments what you thought about it are you interested in trying out this product and yeah i just want to say thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in another one Bye.